The Q3 Dark Matter Cybersecurity Report showed that there was a great deal of critical risks among UAE organizations that need to be addressed to improve cyber resilience. According to the report, 93% of all assessments showed outdated software, 83% showed unsupported software, and 45% of the top 20 vulnerabilities were considered to be high severity. Today, I'm in the Hack in the Box conference where a lot of competitions, villages, and exhibitions are currently taking place. So let's find out more. So Hack in the Box is a global conference basically for technical security people. It takes place in Amsterdam, Singapore, China, and now finally after eight years, it's back in the UAE and Dubai. So we're really excited about that. Well, around us here, you've got a couple of things going on. First of all, there's a number of villages where you can try out things in a hands-on basis. There's a car hacking village where you can try to break into the different systems that cars have. And uh, there's an IoT village right next to us here where you could uh, try to break different things like cameras and these uh, you know, uh, sort of Alexa type of things or washing machines and so on. Well, the cyber threats that uh, the UAE faces are similar to most other countries. For example, the UAE has a very large government services presence, whether it's at the national or state level. And so they're facing challenges from nation states, that is other nations that are trying to penetrate their systems, potentially steal information. But at the sector level, whether it's oil and gas sector, energy sector, financial services, there are threats against those sectors as well, whether from other nations or from criminal hacker groups or potentially even cyber terrorists. So um, you're seeing a lot of activity in that area and obviously the entities here are working to defend against those types of challenges. So with regard to cyber vulnerabilities and threats, Dark Matter just released a cybersecurity report. It's the first report of its type and we found a lot of I guess what you might call alarming or disturbing statistics. For example, 93% of the incident response engagements that we had, we found um, outdated software or software that needed to be patched in some way. Out of 800,000 systems that were associated with the UAE, over 273,000, I believe is the number, had some sort of vulnerability that was present in some way. And there are many, many other statistics in the report, but I mean, just those numbers alone are, are pretty significant and uh, you know, uh, indicative of the fact that there's need for improvement. Now, um, many organizations that do these reports for the first time discover these statistics. So what it is is a call for action that organizations really need to do an assessment and then do some work in terms of improvement in cyber maturity. So as we think of emerging technologies, whatever they are, if you talk about AI or blockchain or other types of things, there's two dimensions to it. One is as these technologies mature, they always tend to move quickly. As they move quickly, we need to think about how do we embed cybersecurity into these technologies so they're deployed securely. But also, how can we use these technologies to improve security? So how do I use machine learning to maybe do a better job to find security vulnerabilities or to find advanced threats? So there's supposed to give and a take in terms of securing these technologies, but also using these technologies to do a better job with security. There are rules and laws in many, many countries uh, for the sovereign states themselves. So for example, the UAE and many other countries have anti-hacking laws. So you're not allowed to just break into somebody's system. You would be arrested for that here and many other countries. However, what's lacking in the world are what are called international norms relative to what happens when a hacker crosses a border. And what's lacking in a lot of places, for example, are if somebody from overseas hacks a citizen in another country, how can law enforcement cooperate adequately to maybe prosecute that individual if there's a problem.